Hello and welcome to day five of our training. This is our final day. Um, five days of training on how to launch an affiliate marketing business. Today we're going to talk about how to build the landing page. Some people will promote or refer their products through a website or a funnel. This happens to be click funnels where we design and build funnels similar to a web page, but a little bit easier to manage. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, now remember, we've already gone through four trainings. One, um, you found your niche. You decided if you were going to do health, wealth, or relationships. And we talked a lot about picking, we just, as examples, pick the health industry. Um, then you had to find a product and I showed you some different platforms you could go to and find those products. And then we talked about how to set up the affiliate link, how to find that link and then to store them someplace so you can get to them quickly. And then finally, yesterday uh, on the fourth day of training, we talked about content and to how you had to pick a social platform, provide value and content on that platform so that you can start promoting or referring the product that you want to sell. Now you have to have a place to take people. When you ask them to push a link, um, if they want your product, they have to go somewhere. So typically in the past, it's always been a website page and people would go to the website page. They might read a log, blog and then there would be links in there for them to go to another page where they would buy something. That's how this works, except that you're going to a funnel. And this is click funnels. And right here where it says funnels, is um, I came to that page and right here we can add a new one. I wanted to show you how easy it is to build on this platform. We're gonna go to the classic builder, funnel builder. Um, it says create new. And basically what you wanna do is collect emails. Remember we talked earlier how all the selling happens in the emails. When you send a sequence of emails to your customers or your prospects, that's where you offer to sell them something. If you just try to sell them something right from this funnel, right from the get-go, without warming them up and helping them to get to know you and like you and trust you, your percentages are gonna be extremely low. You're gonna be doing a lot of work for very little sales. So you want to take the time to build this system in place so that it will be there to collect emails for you. So we're gonna choose collect emails. This is a landing page. You're gonna give them something for free. On day four, I told you to start thinking about a free product that you could give people. I'm gonna call this demo landing page. And you can tag it if you want. I have different tags here. Um, I'm gonna put it in my demo um, area. Uh, anytime I do trainings, I put them in there. And then we're gonna build a funnel. Now the neat thing, about click funnels is you can start from scratch and build your funnel from a blank page or you can look at some templates that are in there most people when they first start they look for templates and so that's what we're going to do today um, if you just scroll down let's scroll over here a little bit let's do health and fitness because that's what we've been talking about all the way through and i think there was a template in here that had health and fitness Go down and make sure remember we're just getting people to opt in we're going to send them something for free and then they're going to opt in i'm going to use this one because it's a it's a pretty basic there's a free product off to the left and then it's an amazing headline and then they opt in i mean it's very very simple now you're going to go in and change out the pictures and things like that. So we're going to hit edit. And in here, I can change this book. Somebody was um, offering a free how I made amazing $12,000 in two weeks. And um, this person made an ebook. We're going to send an ebook. I think I have a checklist in my um, I'm going to change that. Let's go back. See what I did. I went right here where there's an orange line around that and I hit the gear. The gear is always where you go to change things. And it says right here, image. I want to change my image. Now I've already got something downloaded in there, but if you have an image of your free item, you're going to upload it into this area. Um, let's, let's see here. Oh, I had an image in here. Oh, page two. Let's go over here. Let's 
All right, let's say we're doing this. Seven diabetic yoga poses. I'm just going to use that as an example. You're trying to get somebody to come in and maybe um, do exercise, okay? So we're going to... Now, I want to maybe make that a little bit smaller. So right here where it says image width or height, I'm going to maybe put it at 200. That's a little small. So maybe 400. But do you see how I can change that? And what I'm going to do as well is um, lower it a little bit. So the top margin, watch what I do. I'm going to lower it so it kind of evens out. And my image went away. All right, so look, I can go back. Say I want an image there. I'm going to go back up here. See, don't panic. Everything is there that you need. It's very easy to bring it back. And I remember when I first watched this, people were like hitting buttons all over. And I'm like, oh my gosh. But once you start using it, it's very, very user friendly. All right. And then you're going to go in and change um, the headline. You can just go in and type your new headline there. Um, here where it says click for access, this is where um, you will send your free item. Now, I told you also that this is where you collect emails. And notice there's not a place for anyone to collect emails. So what we're going to do is copy this little orange. It's called an element. We're going to make a new element. And we're going to go down here where it says button. Or not button for um, opt-in. Let me find it. Oh, where did it go? Oh, input. It's an input button. See that? It's right under the button. Sorry about that. All right. And this is where it says email. We're going to do it again because we want their name as well. So we're going to do another. Go to the button. Right under it says input. We're going to do another one. Now we're going to change the top one. Remember, we always go to that little gear and we want it to say enter your name. Or I'll put your name here. And I'm going to say it is required. And we can just put um, first name or not put anything. We can just say first name. Okay. And then down here for email, you want to set it for email. And it is required. And see up here where it says set, you want to make sure they put their email address in. Some people don't ask for names. It's up to you. Now here you can change what this button says. We want to um, click here for your free ebook. So we're going to change the words right here for your free ebook. Okay. Now you're thinking, well, when they click it, how do they get it? And this is um, this is the landing page that when people come, there's your, your thing down here. We're going to delete that. That's what happened to it earlier. And I'm deleting all this stuff at the bottom because I don't really, we don't really need it. We want to keep it very, very simple. See how we just go in at the green. I'm deleting it and everything in there will delete and see, there you go. So we're just collecting email address, we're sending them their free book, and that's what we want to do. Um, how do we get that there? Let's hit this again. And we're going to set an action. And see up here, you can open up an, uh, a pop-up window, or you can send them to a website URL. Now, this is what I like to do, is send them to a website URL, and you can send them right to your Google Doc. You want to take your ebook or your checklist or your PDF, whatever you're giving them for free, you want to put it in Google Docs and get the link and then share it and put it right here. So when they hit that button, that product will go right to them. There is another way that you can do it. I'm going to show you that one as well. I'm going to select, put this as select order form, okay? And I'm going to save. Make sure you save frequently, by the way. All 
Okay, we're going to go to, um, I'm going to make sure I get the right button. Here we go. Whoops. That was a preview. Saving. Okay. You can always hit your preview button and go over and see what it looks like. But see, I hadn't saved it. Now it's saved. And now we're going to hit the preview button and you can see how it changed. See that? Now again, you're going to change all these details. I'm not going to take time to do that today. Um, but I wanted you to see how easy it is to make a landing page. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back out. And we're going to go up here. We're going to go back in. I'm sorry. We're going to hit the integration where you can um, connect this to your autoresponder. So remember we talked about Active Campaign or AWeber or different autoresponders. Integration. See that? Right here it says integration. And it says it's not connected. You're going to connect. Now I have Actionetics. I also have Active Campaign. So let's just do Actionetics. It's part of this program. What action am I going to take? I want to add them to a list. Which list do I want to add them to? And then I have the four different lists that I have available. So I'm telling it when somebody enters their name and their email address, it automatically puts them on my autoresponder. So again, if you're using Active Campaign or AWeber, Actionetics, it all works. But you, you would set that up. Again, this is just to give you a brief overview of how easy it is. Now, let's save that, and we're going to go back out. We have everything set up. Remember I told you there was one other way that you can send the product. Some people like to send it instantly, and some people like to send it through an email with the link. So let's go back out. And look at the top of the page. This is the edit page. And right here it says automation. You're going to hit that. And honestly, I probably went through my video like four times my first time. I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many steps. But the more you do it, the easier it is. And you just, you know, just do it without even thinking. No idea what that was. All right, let's go to automation. And I don't know why that's not opening up. When you get into automation, it's going to give you the option to set up an automated fulfillment email. And that email will automatically go out as soon as the person hits the button. So instead of the product coming directly to them, the email with the link for the product comes to them. So it depends on which way you want to do it. Um, I've done it both ways and I, my preference is usually to send the email because then you can kind of welcome them, um, thank them for asking for the product if you have any questions. And, and on that template, um, you have an opportunity to tell them a little bit about yourself in that email. And, and there you're starting to warm up your audience. Remember, they just asked for something from you. You're not trying to sell anything else. You're just giving them that item that they asked for for free. And many people, I notice, when they send me their free item will say, if you have any questions, here's my email address. So they're really good about doing that as well. So that's the gist of it, um, how to build a landing page so that you can send that free product out. Again, all five days of training were a, a, a broad review to give you an idea of how it works. You definitely have to dig into each area and get the details and learn the skills and make sure you put those pieces together. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, make sure you sign up for the Facebook group if you have not, um, because that's where people get together and ask those questions and get them answered as they are growing their own business.